Hello everyone, welcome to another new video. Here in this video, we are going to study about the tubule and different types of well. Okay, so let's see one by one. Before I study about the uh, types of well, uh, let's see some definition and some concepts about the groundwater exploration and uh, development of groundwater. Okay. So let's see. Exploration and development of, of groundwater. Before starting this, uh, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe the channel and like the video and press the bell icon so you will get a regular update. Okay, so let's see exploration and development of groundwater. The depth at which soil pores, space, or fractures and a void in rock become completely saturated with water table called a water table. So, uh, in this, first we have to know what is water table. Okay, uh, and the water table is the depth at which soil pores space or fractions and avoid the rock becomes completely saturated with the water this is called the water table then an aquifer is underground then you have to know aquifer what is aquifer and uh, what are the uh, different types of aquifer i think uh, these topics we already discussed about aquifer and different types of aquifer okay so if don't have to, if you have not seen on the video of aquifer please uh, go to the channel and before this video you have to see uh, aquifer and uh, different types of aquifer okay so uh, let's uh, discuss in brief here in this video also so um, water bearing layer of permeable rock aquifer is underground water being layer of uh, permissible rock so types of aquifer basically we have two types of aquifer First one is confined aquifer and second one is unconfined aquifer. Okay, so what is confined aquifer? Confined aquifer pressure of underground water is greater than P atmospheric pressure. When the uh, groundwater pressure is greater than atmospheric pressure, okay, then this is called the confined aquifer. Okay, and unconfined aquifer means uh, when the pressure equal to the uh, atmospheric pressure. Okay, this is called on uh, unconfined aquifer, and this is also called non-artesian. On the another uh, name is, name of unconfined aquifer is non-artesian. Non-artesian. Okay, so you have to know uh, about the aquifer. So you can uh, briefly discuss these two with the help of a uh, figure. Okay, so uh, let's see uh, next things about the uh, storage in underground is source of groundwater irrigation so basically the source of groundwater is a storage or underground okay and especially used in the Tatai belt of Nepal and these storage and underground is especially used in the Tatai, Tatai belt of Nepal groundwater irrigation is to best source of irrigation due to uh, no channel required The groundwater irrigation is a best source because of the uh, these three reasons. And the first one is no channel required, uh, low investment, and very low silt uh, deposition. That's why uh, groundwater irrigation is best source. Okay, so the reason of uh, groundwater uh, being best is uh, these three. Okay, and that is no channel, low investment, and very low silt deposits. Okay, so this is. Uh, about uh, short brief in about the aquifer and groundwater now let's see types of well an excavated hydraulic hole in earth for bringing groundwater to the surface so uh, well is just uh, an excavated hydraulic hole this is the hydraulic well hydraulic hole okay and uh, this is done in the earth uh, for the purpose of bringing water from the um, groundwater 
ओके टू द सरफेस इट इज जस्ट अ हाइड्रोलिक होल फॉर द ब्रिंगिंग ग्राउंड वाटर टू द सरफेस ऑफ दिस इज कॉल्ड द वेल ओके सो नाउ वी हैव टू नो अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ होल बेसिकली दिस इज वेल इज टू टाइप्स दैट इज फर्स्ट वन इज डग वेल ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ओपन वेल एंड सेकेंड वन इज टू टी वेल ओके सो दिस इज द टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेल सो लेट सी वन बाय वन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इन एक्सकाबेटेड हाइड्रोलिक होल इन अर्थ फॉर बी ब्रिंगिंग ग्राउंड वाटर टू द सर्फेस दिस इज कॉल्ड द वेल एंड फर्स्ट वन इज डग वेल दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ओपन वेल ओके कॉल्ड ओपन वेल विच इज डग डाउन टू वाटर बेरिंग स्टेटा और कन्फाइंड एक्वाफायर इट इज अ टाइप अफ वेल विच इज डग इन टू द कन्फाइंड एक्वाफायर वेन डेयर इज प्रजेंट अफ कन्फाइंड एक्वाफायर confined aquifer and we will dog the well uh, into confined aquifer then this is the dog well okay and next one is two t well so uh, constructed by uh, fixing the pipe below the ground surface when we construct the well by the fixing the pipe below the ground surface and passing through different uh, geological formation and uh, when we, during the construction when we pass the pipes बिलो द ग्राउंड इट्स पास थ्रू डिफरेंट टाइप्स अफ जियोलॉजिकल फर्मेशन ओके डिफरेंट टाइप्स अफ रक डिफरेंट टाइप्स अफ मेटेरियल ओके सो डिफरेंट जियोलॉजिकल फर्मेशन कैन कंसिस्टिंग अफ वाटर बेरिंग एंड नन बेरिंग स्टेटा एंड द स्टेटा मे बी वाटर बेरिंग और नन बेरिंग स्टेटा so a uh, plain pipe is located at non bearing strata and uh, the type of pipe that is plain pipe is located at the non bearing strata now uh, let's see about the types of shallow and deep tube well so basically uh, shallow and uh, deep tube well are the types of a uh, tube well okay so uh, let's see um, in the form of differentiates that is uh, shallow well and uh, deep well so first uh, column is uh, shallow and second this is this this side is deep well so shallow well a tube will having dug at one a strata of unconfined aquifer in the shallow shallow well uh, the strata is unconfined aquifer but a uh, deep well the strata may not be on confined aquifer okay so this is the basic difference between shallow and deep well for shallow well uh, 10 to 25 meter deep so you can see here yeah, for the shallow well uh, we have to dug between the 10 to 25 meter deep but for the deep well we have to dug more than uh, 10 to more than 25 meter deep this then this will be deep well okay and uh, drilled up to sufficient depth of water bearing strata i already told you deep well uh, this is um, we can understand the well by the name of that is deep well deep means simply we have to uh, construct by the uh, pipes in very depth okay a great depth so Uh, this is called deep well and drilled up to sufficient depth sufficient depth of water bearing strata this is in uh, unconfined aquifer it means uh, strata um, but in this uh, drilled up to sufficient depth of water bearing strata okay generally it is in tertiary region uh, when we uh, constructed tube well uh, in tertiary region then then it should be a uh, shallow types of well because Uh, the water level uh, is in um, is very small depth that is under the 10 to 25 meter deep so uh, that should be shallow well and the generally uh, we prefer the well in tri region is shallow well okay so uh, these are the types of shallow and uh, deep tube well and we already saw different types of well now we have to Study about the now we are going to study about the different component of tube well. Okay, so this video, ah, uh, is all already done. So.
uh, we will see this topic components of tubule in next video okay so thank you very much see you in next video please do subscribe the channel and like the video so you will get regular update okay and